coronavirus has upended every aspect of our lives, including something as routine as doing laundry. So how do you handle the laundry of someone infected with COVID-19? And are laundromats safe these days? Consumer Reports reveals some simple steps you can take to keep safe while doing the laundry. If you're living with someone who has a suspected or confirmed case of the novel coronavirus, there are simple safety precautions you need to take. First, keep any contaminated laundry in a separate bin. We don't know exactly how long this coronavirus survives on fabrics or clothes, but researchers think that it's possible the virus can remain infectious on clothes for hours or even days. So for any clothes that may have been exposed to the virus, consider those contaminated and keep those in a separate laundry bin. When it's time to do the laundry, use disposable gloves if you have them and throw them away immediately after you finish. If you don't have gloves, you can absolutely do the laundry with your bare hands. And just be sure to wash your hands thoroughly afterward, whether or not you have gloves. You can wash the laundry of a COVID-19 patient as you normally would. Experts say no special detergent or bleach is needed, but use the warmest appropriate water setting and dry them completely. After you put the laundry in the washer, disinfect all the surfaces in your laundry room that may have been contaminated, like doorknobs and the door pull on the washing machine. Finally, if you're using a shared laundry facility like in an apartment building or laundromat, disinfect handles and surfaces before you touch the machines. And most importantly, your chances of getting the virus from someone else directly are much higher than getting the virus from a surface. So the most important thing is to stay at least six feet away from anyone else. And a final reminder, when you get home and finish the laundry, be sure to give your hands a thorough 20 second wash with soap and water. This is David Fazekas. Those tips are also important to do if you're living with someone who works in a hospital or another place where there may be exposure to the virus.